must have all heard the terms metals and non-metals. Can you look around and see if they exist in your surroundings? What is your table made up of? Aluminium or wood? What about the phone or the laptop you're viewing this video on? Is it made up of metals and non-metals? As a matter of fact, it is. Almost everything around will be made up of either a metal or a non-metal. But how do you differentiate between the two? Is it as easy as the difference between the two colors, black and white? Well, for that, let us look at the physical properties of each category in detail. Let us take for example the ornaments. Any of the ornaments will do. What do you have to say about them? You will observe that most of them are made up of gold or silver. Let us look at them closely. Do they have a shining surface? Or even the aluminium utensil in the kitchen? Does it shine? Of course, both gold and aluminium have a certain shine. Do you know what this shine is called? Well, it is called luster and as both gold and aluminium are metals, this is known as metallic luster. Now we know that metals have a metallic luster. Now if the utensil drops on the floor, does it break into parts? No, right? Hello, my name is Alan Shukar, my teacher is Hadwe Goynash. Metals are shiny substances with good classical and electrical conductivity. And the non-metals are elements that do not belong to the growth of metals. Uh, to them, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon and uh, nitrogen. I am 8th grade student beating double season. My chemistry teacher is Einar Sadebekwa. We covered the topic uh, of metals and the non-metals in chemistry. Let me explain to you about metalloids. A metalloid uh, is an element that has properties that are intermediate between those of metals and the non-metals. 